Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. It's that time again, I need to make some more char material. So let's make some charred punkwood, some charred denim. This is 100% cotton. I always put punkwood on the bottom of my char tin and use about 10 pieces of denim. I guess these squares that I'm making are about two by two, something like that. I don't like to use the seams, these hems, but you can, there's nothing wrong with that. So I'll cut these seams out. And this is 12 pieces of denim. Let's go ahead and start the fire now. I've got this piece of tulip poplar that I picked up out of the yard this morning. That'll be plenty of fuel to get the job done. And of course we'll use this tulip poplar inner bark to ferro rod ignite and get the fire going. Let's start loading the stove. Put these long ones in first. And then these shorter ones in the center of that. Now we'll process up this tulip poplar bark. I take, here's, here is the inner bark that we're after. So I take and I break it over my finger to sort of get that outer bark off of there. And keep the outer bark because it burns well also. But these ribbons of inner bark is what we're after. I'll put a few of these down in here. And we'll take the inner bark, start roughing it up, breaking it down, tearing it apart. And this I'll put on top of the flames. Got a Bayite keychain ferro rod. It's three and eighth inches long by five sixteenths in diameter, and we'll use my very sharp spine on my Mora Companion stainless. Oh, that blew it out.
You just have to be patient, don't you? We'll put you on time lapse. All right, I like to put my char tin in the flames, not down in the coals. The first gases coming out of there are probably going to be the water vapor and then the flammable gases. Those flammable gases will ignite. Um, but after the flames and gases and smoke stops coming out of this char tin, we're gonna pull it out and let it completely cool off before we open it up. That's good enough. Now, we'll let that cool off for about five minutes, however long it takes. All right, I think it's ready. Can is cool. pieces of denim char cloth that has a lot of smoke residue on it which I don't like but I do like that it's soft and supple no hard places let's try a piece of it out we'll try that piece that tried to get away Like to tear it in half, cross the bias, which will reveal all of these threads. Lay both halves up on top of one another. And here's that sharp place on the rock, on the chert I was telling you about. And usually straight out of the fire, straight out of the can the first time when they're ultra ultra dry it's usually a one strike ignite That's not going to be able to stay there with the wind blowing like that. So we'll put it down here on the stump. Maybe you can see that. Now, let's cast sparks down into our charred punk wood. I want to save the biggest pieces. cast sparks down into those crumbles right there.
It's so bright out here, I can't tell if that's ignited or not. We got ignition that time with 10 strikes. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. sure you can see it all right we'll catch you on the next one here's all those branches that we broke off of that poplar first thing let's start a fire with them people don't realize how long pine needles ashes and coals last for a lot longer than you might think. Let's get down the next one.